With the recent discovery of emerald ash borer in Nebraska, many people are wondering whether they should begin treating their ash trees. Ash trees have many benefits, but there are drawbacks to treatments as well. And there are a number of criteria that should be looked at before deciding whether your tree is a good candidate for treatments. A good candidate for treatment meets several criteria. First, the tree should be located within 15 miles of a known emerald ash borer infestation. The tree should be a high value tree, located in a good location, and it should be in very good condition. Larger trees, those greater than about 15 inches in diameter, uh, are more suitable for trunk injections because soil treatments would not adequately protect such large trees as well. Trees which are in good health are those which have been watered thoroughly, especially important for these hot summer days that we are experiencing right now. And uh, trees should be mulched with a wood chip mulch around the base of the tree. This is an example of a tree that might be a good candidate for trunk injections. Uh, you notice that the tree has been mulched with a nice layer of organic uh, material uh, wood chip mulch. Um, it also is showing a lot of trunk flare, uh, which indicates that it has a pretty good root system um, where the trunk is slowly transitioning into the roots. You can see how it flares out. Um, trees with a good root system are going to be in a healthier condition uh, and will better uh, respond to treatments. This is an example of a tree that would not be a good candidate for treatment. Uh, it has a number of, of problems that indicate that it is under stress and not very healthy and would not respond very well to the treatments. Uh, for example, uh, you see that it has no mulch. In fact, it's got grass growing right up to the trunk, uh, which means there's a lot of competition uh, for water and nutrients um, from the grass. And as well, it has a lot of injury to the base of the tree, perhaps caused by mowers that have had to come up and uh, mow the grass right against the trunk. You also see while on one side it does have some trunk flare, the other side of the tree shows no trunk flare. In fact, the trunk is going straight down into the ground like a telephone pole, suggesting there might be a girdling root on that side of the tree wrapping around the base of the tree and causing stress to the tree. In addition, this tree has evidence of other types of borers that are native to our area and attack stressed or declining trees. You can see, for example, borer holes uh, in the trunk that indicate that this tree is already being attacked by some of our native borers and therefore is a stressed tree. So if you are thinking about treatments, it's good to take a very critical look at your trees and decide if they are good candidates for treatment. And if you have more questions about emerald ash borer and treatments, you can visit the Nebraska Forest website at eabne.info.